Hey you guys, Blaze here from Blazing Reviews and today we're going to be checking out Avatar The Way of Water 3D. Now this movie was shot in 4K 3D. It's got a 4K DI, however the 3D Blu-ray is 1080p. The runtime is 192 minutes. It's rated PG-13. The aspect ratio is 185 by 1 and the audio is in DTS 7.1 surround. To maximize the 3D quality, this film has been spread between two discs. Disc 1 clocks in at 44GB, while Disc 2 clocks in at 37GB. This movie was shot in native 3D using specially designed Sony 3D cameras, so watching it in 3D is definitely the way to see it as it was attended. After watching the 4K version numerous times and then watching this version, it was like watching a totally different movie. It just sucked me in and was so immersive and had me feeling like I was part of the movie the entire time. This is by far one of the best looking 3D movies I have ever seen, and I'm a 3D fanatic who's seen pretty much every 3D movie there is. Personally, I think it looks much better than the original Avatar 3D that came out back in 2009, and that was literally one of the best 3D movies around. Avatar The Way of Water has a very immersive and natural 3D presentation to it. All objects, whether it be the Navi, avatars, humans, animals, or plants and trees in the forest, all have amazing depth and contour to them. It's almost so real that oftentimes I felt like I could stand up and walk around them. Unlike other 3D movies I've watched in the past, I didn't notice any crosstalk or ghosting throughout the entire duration of this film, nor did I get any eye strain or a headache from it. I was able to sit the entire 192 minutes and just enjoy being sucked into the world of Pandora. There are times where forest trees, plants, the Avatar guns and Navi spears and arrows extend out of the screen a bit to give some 3D pop out. I'd have to say the underwater scenes are some of the best looking 3D scenes in the movie, with some fish extending out of the screen a bit and others swimming far into the background. It was so immersive I felt like I was swimming along there with them. There are also times where little plants or fire embers are flying around and kind of extend out of the TV, pulling you into the scene, making you feel like you're actually there. The scene where they launched the submarines and the camera switches to an inside cockpit view had me feeling like I was riding along there with them. I swear, if I had a fan and water blowing on me while watching this, it would have felt like I was back in the 4DX theater experiencing this all over again. So what about the audio? Well, unlike the 4K UHD, the 3D Blu-ray is in DTS 7.1. However, if your home theater can upmix it, it will sound very close to the Dolby Atmos version. I didn't notice much of a difference in sound between the 3D Blu-ray or 4K UHD using my Sony HT-A9. During rain scenes, I could still hear it sounded like it's falling right above me. Ships still sounded like they were flying overhead and forest sounds still sounded like they're all around me. I did notice the bass was deeper and seemed to have more of a kick on the 3D version, which is a big plus for me. Put on some headphones and take a listen for yourself in binaural audio I captured.
guy people. They're looking for you, Jensen. South. They have a foreign boy who speaks not me. Time, but not yet. They surrendered. But the villagers will not tell them where you are. By my order. Now, if you're new to the channel and into home theaters and movies and curious if a movie is worth playing on your home theater setup, then smash that like icon, be sure to subscribe, and click that bell to get notified when I upload more videos. If you've been a subscriber for a while and enjoy my videos, consider becoming a Patreon supporter and helping my channel out. It helps me be able to get more material to review for you. As for the image quality, I was surprised for only 1080p that this has as much detail as it does. Of course there is no HDR, but colors still look bright and really pop, especially in the forest and underwater scenes. Explosions and fire looked amazing. And there is this one scene where Colonel Miles Corridge just wakes up in his new avatar body and looking at himself, and a light in the background shines brightly, and because it's in 3D, some rays from that light come out at you. It truly made me feel like I was staring into a real light and my eyes even reacted to it. But on the 4K version, even with HDR, this scene didn't affect me at all. Even the black levels throughout the film look good and are nice and deep. Not as good as the 4K version of course, but pretty damn close. I watched this with my LG 5500 Cinema Passive 3D TV, and then I checked it with my Sony Bravia LX900 3D TV, which uses active shutter glasses, and Passive 3D looked much brighter and was a more immersive experience. Active shutter darkened the film a bit and the constant flickering between each eye was a bit noticeable, for me anyway, but it still looked pretty amazing. I also tried it on my PSVR, and while it looked alright, it didn't look as good as it did on my 3D TVs of course, and after 30 minutes, it started hurting my head and I just couldn't enjoy the film anymore. However, keep in mind, your 3D experience may be different depending on if you're using a TV or a projector, and the brightness level it can achieve. Both my 3D TVs are professionally calibrated, but I've always preferred the LG Passive 3D over Active Shutter. So, have you watched Avatar The Way of Water on 3D Blu-ray, or are you planning to soon? If so, let me know what you think about it, and tell me what kind of 3D setup you're using in the comment section down below. I'd love to hear what kind of 3D TV or projector you're using, and how your 3D experience was with this film. Well, peace out everybody, and thanks for watching.